The red light cameras in Rochester are history. The program ended at midnight on New Year's. At 5 o'clock, we showed you how, even though the cameras are still up, they will not take pictures of your car. So then we decided to see how many drivers rolled through red lights knowing that they weren't going to get caught. Berkeley Breen is live at the corner of Alexander Street and Monroe Avenue. Berkeley, what'd you find? Hey, Brett, bottom line is that most of the drivers I watched today did come to a complete stop and they followed the law. But I saw a handful of drivers who rolled through that red light. And even though the red light cameras, like the one here at this corner, weren't rolling, my camera was. I went to five different intersections across the city. All of them used to be red light camera corners. The cameras are still mounted on the light poles. When the light turned red, I watched to see what the drivers did. And in a short period of time, I found five drivers rolling through red. One month ago, this blue car rolling slowly through the red light would have been a $50 fine. Most of the violations happened at Alexander and Monroe. That would have been a $50 fine. So would that and that. In about 30 minutes, I counted about $250 worth of funds. Is the city concerned that maybe driving patterns are going to revert to what they were like prior to the red light cameras coming? Well, again, it is still a crime to run a red light in Rochester. We will be enforcing the red light, uh, red light laws the same way as every other city and town surrounding our city. It's just not doing it with red light cameras. And the city promised us that these cameras will never take a picture of your car from now on. So we should never see that flash go off anymore from now on. If a car rolls, happens yep. to roll through yep. a red nope. light. The cameras have gone dark and nobody will be receiving tickets. Now, I contacted the city manager of Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Mount Juliet just got rid of its red light program fairly recently, and I asked him, what kind of impact did you see after you got rid of the program? And they told me, he and the police chief there told me that they did not see any sort of significant increase in the number of drivers trying to roll through red lights. It's going to be up to Red Flex to take these cameras down. They own them. I emailed them today and said, what are you going to do it? And they never responded to that email, but the city told me, they're working with uh, Redflex to get these cameras down soon. We're live on Alexander Street, Berkeley Bree News 10, NBC. Berkeley, thank